What if I told you that over 80% of the universe is made up of something we can't see, touch, or even comprehend? This is the mystery of dark matter. Let that sink in for a moment. Everything we know, galaxies, stars, planets, even you and I, all the matter that we can perceive, accounts for less than 20% of the universe. The rest, the vast majority, is dark matter. Now don't let the name fool you. Dark matter isn't dark in the way we understand it. It doesn't absorb or reflect light. In fact, it doesn't interact with light at all. It's called dark because it doesn't interact with electromagnetic radiation, making it invisible to our current scientific detection methods. But if we can't see or touch it, how do we even know it exists? Well, we see its effects on the universe. The gravitational forces it exerts influence the rotation of galaxies and the bending of light from distant stars. It's like a cosmic puppeteer pulling the strings of the universe from behind a curtain of invisibility. This invisible, intangible substance is not just a curiosity for scientists. It's a fundamental part of our universe, and understanding it could answer some of the biggest questions in cosmology. It could potentially unlock secrets about the nature of the universe that we can't even begin to imagine. Yet, despite its pivotal role, dark matter remains one of the most elusive and mysterious concepts in modern physics. We're on a relentless quest to understand it, to find ways to detect it, to grasp the ungraspable. This journey takes us from underground detectors burrowed deep within the Earth to particle accelerators whirling at near light speeds and even out into the far reaches of space. And you're coming along for the ride. Buckle up because we're about to delve into a world that's as fascinating as it is perplexing. A world that's hidden in plain sight yet remains largely unknown. This is the beginning of our journey into the shadowy world of dark matter. Our journey begins in the 1930s with Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky. As a man of the cosmos, Zwicky found himself puzzled by the movements of galaxies. The observed speeds at which they spun were simply too fast. They should have been ripping themselves apart, and yet they remained intact. To Zwicky, this was a cosmic conundrum. The solution, there must be some unseen matter, an invisible hand holding these cosmic dancers in place. This unseen matter, Zwicky proposed, was dark matter. His theory was met with scepticism. After all, how could one prove the existence of something that cannot be seen? Yet the enigma of the spinning galaxies remained. Zwicky's groundbreaking theory laid the groundwork for decades of dark matter research. It was a bold idea, a leap into the dark. And it was this leap that would set the stage for the cosmic detective story of the century. Fast forward to the 1970s when Vera Rubin discovered something extraordinary. This American astronomer and her team were studying galaxies, not just our own Milky Way, but numerous others scattered across the universe. One expectation was that stars at the outskirts of a galaxy would move slower than those near the center, where the majority of a galaxy's mass is concentrated. It's similar to our solar system where inner planets like Mercury zip around the Sun faster than outer planets like Neptune. But what Rubin found defied this expectation. She observed that stars on the edge of galaxies were moving just as fast as those near the center. This was perplexing. It defied the laws of gravity. If only visible matter was at play, these fast-moving edge stars should be flung out into the cosmos. Yet they weren't. They were held in place, orbiting steadily. The only explanation? There had to be more mass, more gravitational pull holding these stars in their galactic dance. This invisible mass was dubbed dark matter. Rubin's observations provided some of the first direct evidence of this mysterious entity. Her work on galaxy rotation curves, as these speed measurements are known, showed that galaxies contained up to 10 times more dark matter than visible matter. But the concept of dark matter was not without its skeptics. Some scientists proposed alternative theories of gravity that didn't require dark matter. Yet, these alternatives struggled to explain other cosmic observations, leaving dark matter as the most compelling explanation. So, Rubin's work was revolutionary. It revealed a universe where the majority of matter is unseen, unlit, and untouched by light. A universe where galaxies spin in the grip of an invisible cosmic web. A universe that is, in many ways, still a mystery. Rubin's work added fuel to the dark matter fire, but the best was yet to come. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of dark matter and explore the groundbreaking experiments and discoveries that have brought us closer to understanding this enigmatic component of our universe. The 1980s brought a new player to the dark matter stage, particle physics. 
Imagine a giant cosmic puzzle and you're missing more than 80% of the pieces. That's what scientists were grappling with in the 1980s. They believed that dark matter was the missing link, but they just couldn't find the right piece to fit the puzzle. That's when particle physics entered the scene, offering a fresh perspective on this enigma. Particle physics is all about studying the fundamental particles that make up everything in the universe. You know, those tiny subatomic particles like protons, neutrons and electrons. But in the 1980s, scientists proposed a new type of particle, weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs for short. These WIMPs, they theorized, could be the dark matter that scientists had been searching for. Why WIMPs, you ask? Well, they ticked all the right boxes. They're massive, so they have gravity. They're weakly interacting, meaning they don't interact much with regular matter or light, hence their dark nature. And they're particles, so they fit right into the framework of particle physics. It was a match made in scientific heaven. The theory of WIMPs as a dark matter candidate was so compelling that it spurred a whole new generation of experiments. Scientists all over the world built detectors, hoping to catch a glimpse of these elusive particles. They looked for signs of WIMPs in places as diverse as underground mines to the International Space Station. But as the years rolled on, the WIMPs remained elusive. Despite the best efforts of scientists, they just couldn't pin down these particles. Each experiment came back with the same result. Nothing, it was like trying to catch a ghost. So, where did that leave scientists? Well, with more questions than answers, that's for sure. But it also left them with an important realization. The search for dark matter wouldn't be easy. It would take more than just a clever theory or a sophisticated detector. It would require patience, perseverance, and above all, a willingness to venture into the unknown. Despite the promise of wimps, dark matter remained as elusive as ever. As the 21st century dawned, the search for dark matter moved to new depths. The mission was clear, to catch elusive dark matter particles that until now had only been theorized. To achieve this, scientists had to think outside of the box, or rather, deep within it. Enter the large underground xenon experiment, affectionately known as LUX. Nestled within a mile-deep former gold mine, this detector was designed to catch the slippery, dark matter particles. The choice of location was no accident. The depth was to shield the detector from cosmic rays, which could interfere with the dark matter signals. The detector was filled with liquid xenon, a substance chosen for its ability to produce light and charge when a particle passes through it. Dark matter particles, should they exist and interact with the xenon, would trigger these signals. Yet, despite the ingenuity of the design and the sophistication of the technology, the quarry proved elusive. Lux ran for three long years and, at the end of its run, no clear signs of dark matter were detected. But was it a failure? Far from it. Each attempt, each miss, brings us a step closer to understanding this enigmatic matter. In the grand chess game with the universe, scientists were learning to anticipate the moves of an unseen player. The Lux experiment was one such move, a daring dive into the depths of the unknown. Even underground dark matter proved a slippery quarry. From deep beneath the ground to high above the earth, the search for dark matter knows no bounds. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, we've launched space-based telescopes and observatories, transforming our search for dark matter into an interstellar endeavor. In the tranquility of space, far from the noise and light pollution of our bustling planet, We've redefined our quest for understanding the universe's elusive dark matter. Take, for instance, the Hubble Space Telescope, a marvel of modern technology that has been peeking into the universe's darkest corners for over three decades. Its observations have provided crucial insights into the distribution and behavior of dark matter. By observing gravitational lensing, where the path of light from distant galaxies is bent by massive objects, Hubble has mapped the invisible presence of dark matter across the cosmos. Then there's the Planck satellite launched by the European Space Agency. It's been studying the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang, and its findings have been instrumental in confirming that around 85% of the universe's matter is, in fact, dark matter. These celestial detectives are our eyes and ears in the cosmos, helping us unravel the complex tapestry of our universe. But as we've peered further into the cosmic abyss, we've found that the answers we seek often lead to more questions. From space, the dark matter mystery only deepened. In recent years, scientists are turning to direct detection experiments to uncover dark matter's secrets. 
Have you ever wondered how we could possibly detect something we can't see, touch, or even sense using conventional means? Welcome to the world of direct detection experiments. The idea behind these experiments is to catch dark matter particles in the act of interacting with regular matter. Imagine a cosmic game of billiards with dark matter as the invisible balls. These particles are whizzing about us all the time, but they hardly ever hit anything. However, on the rare occasion that they do, they can move or even dislodge an atom in a detector. This movement results in a release of energy that we can measure. So how does one build such a detector? The answer lies in creating an environment that is as quiet and as still as possible. Any noise, be it from cosmic rays, natural radioactivity, or even the heat of the surrounding environment could drown out the faint whisper of a dark matter particle's interaction. That's why these experiments are often conducted deep underground, in old mines or under mountains, where layers of rock and earth provide a natural shield against unwanted interference. One of the leading direct detection experiments is the Large Underground Xenon, or LUX, experiment. Located a mile underground in the Black Hills of South Dakota, LUX uses a third of a ton of liquid xenon to try and spot dark matter. Despite the challenges, the potential rewards of direct detection are enormous. If successful, these experiments could not only confirm the existence of dark matter, but also give us a glimpse into its properties. They could tell us about the mass of dark matter particles, their interaction strength, and perhaps even hint at new laws of physics. Direct detection experiments represent one of the most promising avenues in the search for dark matter. Indeed, as we delve deeper into the cosmos's enigmatic darkness, these experiments light our way, promising a better understanding of the universe's unseen majority. As we stand on the cusp of a new era in dark matter research, the possibilities are endless. The future of dark matter research promises a thrilling journey through unexplored realms of the cosmos. One of the most exciting prospects on the horizon is the use of quantum sensors. These incredibly sensitive devices could help us detect the elusive signals of dark matter particles. Quantum sensors operate on the principles of quantum mechanics, allowing for a level of precision that's far beyond anything we've seen before. Imagine being able to pick up the faintest whisper of a particle from the other side of the universe. That's the kind of sensitivity we're talking about, but it's not just about the hardware. The future of dark matter research will also be shaped by cutting edge software. Enter machine learning algorithms. These algorithms can sift through mountains of data, identifying patterns and anomalies that would be impossible for humans to spot. Machine learning could be the key to unlocking the secrets of dark matter, turning raw data into meaningful insights. And let's not forget about the next generation of particle accelerators. These machines could help us produce dark matter right here on Earth, giving us a chance to study this enigmatic substance up close. It's like having a piece of the cosmos in the palm of our hands. But perhaps the most exciting part of the future of dark matter research is what we don't know. The field is ripe for groundbreaking discoveries that could rewrite our understanding of the universe. We might find new particles, new forces, new dimensions. The universe has a way of surprising us and the search for dark matter is no exception. The road ahead is full of challenges, but also full of promise. Everyday scientists around the world are pushing the boundaries of what's possible, driven by a shared sense of curiosity and wonder. The quest to understand dark matter is a testament to the human spirit, to our relentless pursuit of knowledge. With every passing day, we inch closer to lifting the veil on dark matter. So why does all this matter? Why do we care about something we can't even see? Well, unlocking the secrets of dark matter isn't just a pursuit for the curious. It's a quest that has profound implications for our understanding of the universe and our place within it. You see, dark matter is believed to be the gravitational glue that holds galaxies together. Without it, galaxies, including our own Milky Way, would simply fly apart, but it goes deeper. Comprehending dark matter could revolutionize our grasp of fundamental physics, potentially uncovering new laws of nature. It could help answer age-old questions like why the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate and what happened in the moments after the Big Bang. Yes, dark matter is invisible, elusive, but it's also a key piece in the cosmic puzzle. The search for dark matter isn't just about the unseen, it's about understanding the very fabric of our universe. From Zwicky's initial theory to the cutting-edge research of today, the search for dark matter is a thrilling saga of scientific discovery. 
We've journeyed from the birth of the theory through the rotation curve conundrum all the way to the rise of direct detection experiments. We've explored the depths of the underground and the vast expanse of space. As we stand on the brink of future research, the enigma of dark matter remains ever tantalizing. As we continue to delve into the dark matter mystery, who knows what secrets we'll uncover next. Your engagement is as important as the exploration of dark matter itself. If today's journey through the enigma of dark matter sparked your curiosity, if you learned something new, then please don't hesitate to give this video a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts, your theories, even your questions in the comments below. Remember, every opinion counts, every question can lead to a new discovery. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. Who knows, your next click could lead us to the next big breakthrough in dark matter research. And of course, don't keep this knowledge to yourself. Share it with your friends and family because the quest for understanding our universe is a journey best embarked on together. Stay curious, stay engaged, and let's unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, one dark matter particle at a time.